Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We've already shuffled the card, so let's get right into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Now your first card, this is the energy of your partner, the person of your interest. We have the Page of Cups. The obstacle to overcome at the present time is the King of Swords. And your energy, Cancer, is the Page of Wands. All right, so we have two pages. I see that for some of you guys, um, the remaining of the month is going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot of movement at the end of the month. A lot of uh, movement in regards to new projects, in regards to um in regards to projects, specifically for some of you guys, there may be a, a breakthrough that happens for you guys in regards or in connection with your finances, uh, with a with work situation, uh, some type of creative outlook for some of you guys. Now, the Page of Cups does signify your partner being very amorous towards you. Uh, it's almost like you guys are in sync at the moment. Um, you are coming up as uh, fire energy. So I see you guys very, either very creative, really tapping into your creative outlook um, and very passionate, very intense, perhaps even a little bit more than you've been uh, the past, I want to say the past four months. I see you guys really like passionate is what they're saying. Um, a lot of like touchy-feely maybe you've even noticed your partner being a little bit more touchy-feely type of energy now right at the center we do have the king of swords so there is a situation that has you a bit restless at the moment it could be because of a project it could be because of work um but i do see that uh pretty much you know falling into place at the end of the month like i said i do see progress some type of uh, some type of opportunity coming towards you that it's going to facilitate or that it's going to help you achieve a goal and perhaps some of you guys a goal in connection with uh, your partnership so it could be that your partner is very supportive at this present time it could be that they are really helping you or pushing you to um, to achieve the, the the desires the wants that you're wanting to the the goals that you're wanting to attain now it's very important for this month uh cancer to if you feel like your partner is being a little bit pushy or like they are it's almost what they're telling me is that your partner could be like very giving you like constructive criticism and it's important not to take it personal uh cancer i feel that they're coming from a very loving place but they could be expressing it in a way where it comes off like it's rubbing you the wrong way or you're feeling like they're critiquing everything you're doing. But I think that the ultimate goal here is they really want you to flourish in whatever project that you're currently working or will be working for uh, the remaining of the month. Now, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an outside type of energy. King of Swords could represent air energy. It could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Uh, this could be a paternal figure, either to you or to your partner. And I feel that it, it could be creating some type of tension. For some of you guys, it could be like um, not being able to see eye to eye with the partner. Sorry, not the partner with the parent of the partner uh, for some of you guys feeling a bit rejected or feeling like um, they have very high standards and they're trying to belittle you on an emotional level what they're telling you here is to rise above that cancer don't feed into that negativity or don't feed into that energy and try to be as compassionate and understanding as possible because I feel your partner feel feeling a bit restless or feeling like they are stuck in the middle, literally. And they, you know, you, we can change how our parents are or we can change their person or their character. And it's like, I feel like your partner is really trying to have your back and really trying to support you. But at the same time, um, 
if this situation keeps pressing on or if you keep pressing the issue, I feel that your partner is going to be left feeling uh, like it, it, like that it's really becoming an issue um, to the point where there may be some type of frustration or some type of resentment. So again, like I said, take the high road on this cancer. Very important. Now, for those of you guys that are currently dealing with someone um, but not in a serious monogamous relationship, what they're saying here is that there could be out um, sources outside of yourself or the connection. This could be a friend. This could be a person that is very connected to the person of your interest. I feel that they may not have the best intentions when they speak about you or it's almost like a feeling of trying to create some type of tension there. Um, if you know exactly who I'm talking about, again, like I said, don't take the bait. Take the high road. All right, let's see what Spirit's final message for you, Cancers, are for the rest of this month, July 2020. Spirits, what are your final messages? Okay. And the card is Confidence, Cancer. Yeah, it's kind of like the energy I'm feeling. I'm feeling like there's outside outsource energies um, that are out of your control at the present time that may be trying to create some type of tension or some type of separation in this connection. But what they're telling you here is take the high road. Um, don't try to, you know, snap at your partner. Don't try to create more tension. Um, Focus on you and your relationship and being the loving, understanding partner that you are. Your partner will definitely, they will definitely like see that you're coming from a good place versus other people just speaking negative about you. That will unfold and it will unfold in a way of being able to see their true intentions without you even having to meddle in this situation confidence believe in yourself trust in yourself know you are worthy know that you deserve to be loved know that regardless of what people's perceptions are of yourself ultimately it comes down to who you are and the person you are and no one no one else knows who you really are but yourself so don't take you know that criticism don't don't take it to heart you and i both know that you're coming from a good place and that's all that matters so believe in yourself have faith in yourself cancer and you will be able to overcome this little obstacle i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye